It's Tuesday night, and we're back for one more show of the Neighborhood News Show. Channel 95, 7, seven o'clock at night. Um, we're back with uh, one more show of the Neighborhood News. If you are um, watching us right now, and it, it's not a Tuesday, it's because you're watching a repeat show, um, please come back next Tuesday. You will have a brand new show uh, for you. Uh, para a nossa uh, comunidade portuguesa, sejam bem-vindos para mais um programa de notícias da sua vizinhança. Hoje é terça-feira, um, 7 horas da noite, aqui no canal 95, nós começamos com mais um programa de notícias da sua vizinhança. Hoje não temos convidados e, Bernardo, uh, nunca deste as, uh, as boas-vindas em, em português? Boas-vindas a todos. <risos> E, um, e nós vamos, hoje não temos convidados, portanto nós vamos falar um, aqui uh, por, por meia hora uh, coisas que estão a passar não só na cidade, mas também no país agora com as eleições um, a batermos à porta. Hum. Portanto, fique connosco. Um, today we don't have guests, so we probably gonna just um, be chatting about not just a city, but um, and uh, country um, wise too because um, it's elections uh, right around the corner and uh, um, and today is elections in Florida yes it is yeah. uh, and uh, the other state it's one more state Il uh, I think Tiverton is uh, Rhode Island I'm sorry Rhode Island it's in April oh yeah um, and uh, so at this time we are taping the show at seven o'clock um, we're probably not going to find out the, the, the results, results until 8.30, no. at least 8.30, right. 9 right. o'clock. Um, it's a big state. But um, I don't think that the Donald Trump is going to get Florida. You don't think so? No. I don't, I don't think. I don't know. I didn't think he was going to get Massachusetts either, but. Yeah, but uh, Florida, <laughs> Florida <laughs> depends a lot of uh, on, on illegal immigration. Yes, you're right. Yeah, um, and He's a lot of people, um, uh, um, you know, it's big farms um, mm -hmm. up there. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fruit comes from Florida, and uh, a lot of those um, people are, um, you know, not legal in the country. Oh, yeah, of course. So I don't think the owners of the f the country the the farm is gonna vote, you know, against against themselves. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I so I have my I have my yeah. my doubts. But he's, he's surprising, though. I don't know. But I, I'm still uh, uh, looking for um, uh, a supporter to debate me. I, I want to debate a, a supporter uh, of, of Donald, Donald Trump. Trump because uh, no supporter here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. they uh, they voted. I guess Fall River was the second person. I, know. I think was the second city on, on the whole state that voted for Donald Trump. So guess what? All these people now is gonna is gonna work for Donald Trump. Right. He's gonna fund jobs right. for all these people. Mm. Hey, maybe he's gonna change his. Uh, uh, let me see the uh, coat factory from Mexico um, down to uh, Fall River. Or his ties from China, Maybe. Um, you know. So he's a guy that's going to bring a lot of jobs, and and his own factories are not even in America. You know, they out of the country. Neither are so. his wives, though. He should thank the illegal immigrants for his wives. Uh, yeah, but that that's that, that's another that's another thing that's too. That's another topic, they, yeah, right? Yeah, it's another yeah. topic because guess what? They keep me here illegal. You know? Exactly. Yeah, they keep me that's illegal, and then they stay illegal, and then he give them. And uh, who knows? Maybe he's the one who be who turned them, who gave them the green card. Hey, it's he, a good business, know, right? you know. Yeah, it's I a good business. So. I guess so. You know, it's a lot of people pay for green cards, so oh, it's a good business. Man, I'll tell you, Trump. Where, where did he come from? Oh my God. But with what, what what gets me more is oh he's saying what what we want to hear, but what you like to hear the country's not going to of course run on whatever you want you like to hear of course you know not. I, I, of course not I like to hear a, a, a million dollar exactly. tickets but yeah. I, guess what I don't I don't buy a ticket right. so you know. It, it, I mean, I, I still don't understand how is 
And then is, um, I'm running with my own money, but he has the most secret service mm -hmm. working with him, mm -hmm. with any other mm -hmm. people running for office. So uh, he's paying for those secret service? I would assume so. Because he's, they need jobs. Because he says he says that he's paying, you know, his own oh, campaign. I would, I would assume so. You know, I mean, he's he's running on his plane. Only him has a plane like yeah, that, I the seven thirty seven. You know, it's it's like a, it's like a big thing. Um, I know somebody else that actually owns a seven thirty seven, <laughs> but it's I'm not going to tell him. And he's he don't live far from here. Um, but uh, you know. The, and then he says, oh, I'd like to slap him. And the guy just got up, and he has, like, five guys around him. Mm -hmm. So where, where, where is the security? Where, where, you know, come on, you were going to slap somebody. I know. Try it. It's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's scary. It's getting it's, scary. It's, it's just. The more he advances, it's, it's, it's just, just a, really scary. To me, it's just a game. Uh, it's just. It's a joke at this point. It is, and, and, and other countries are laughing at us. Of course. Okay, um, just because of what, what's going on, mm -hmm. and people are fighting, um, in, in you know, in debates, and for him canceling that that uh, thing in, in Chicago, um, that I think that uh, tells everything. Mm. If people want to do something to him, and he's not even elected yet. Imagine what they want to do. How much is going to cost the security for this guy yeah, just I, just yeah. when he gets elected? Right. <laughs> mm. It's scary. Like I said, it's. I, it's, I mean, is it, it gets scarier as it advances more because what will be of the United States? I don't know. I, I just hope that uh, uh, if he wins, that all these people are going to knock on his door and say, "Hey, I'm from Fall River. <laughs> I give, I give you my support." That's right. And see if uh, if this guy's going to come over here. Um, I've been talking to a couple of people. I talked to a couple of people in Portugal, and and believe me, they they just make jokes out of it because America has been always um, the top of. I mean, if it's a president that that everybody stands up mm -hmm. is to uh, to America, right. and and right. with this, with this guy, the other countries being you know, and 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 then he and then he says you know uh, they're gonna do, uh, uh, um, they, they won't support us. Don't know don't know what they're saying. The other day, a reporter just said, "Why are you supporting Donald Trump?" And it's all because uh, China is gonna is gonna build the wall. China's going to build a wall, and guys, the reporter said that you mean Mexico? Yeah, 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 Mexico, oh oh Mexico. My God. So how embarrassing! <laughs> how embarrassing! <laughs> they don't I even mean? know what See they. What I mean? <laughs> they don't even know what what they uh, what they saying and what they supporting. They just supporting because I don't know. He, they like them, and and uh, and he says what mm. what people wants to hear. I don't think I don't think you know. Uh, I don't think, and I'm just hoping that that at all costs that the party is not going to pick him up, Correct. pick him for Correct. for for Correct. Yep. to run. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. On the Democrat side, I think we are in on the same trouble. Of course, we are. That the Republicans are because Republicans, you know, we have this guy that's it's all the way up here. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, up here all this time. And now, and it's not the perfect guy to right. run for the party. Oh, yeah. Even inside the party, they have a lot of problems accepting him, him as mm -hmm. the leader. Mm -hmm. I won't be surprised if, if they pick him uh, to be the, the runner that a lot of Republicans don't even want to vote. Yeah, I agree. You know, yeah. I mean, they, they've been saying, yes. they've been, yes. it, I, I, I just heard a, a, an interview with Rovio, mm -hmm. and he exactly said, you know, at this point, I don't even know, yeah. my last choice probably will be not even going vote. Right. And this is somebody that's running. Exactly. Right now. Yeah. So there's, a, you know, you can imagine other people that really, uh, so they have, they have that problem. On the Democrat side, 
um, it's been very close. Mm. They've been very close. And to me, doesn't matter how they're going to pick, they're going to have a problem. Oh, yeah. Either or. Either or, they're mm -hmm. going to have a problem. Yeah. I don't think that they're going to pick somebody that has a socialist background. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how that will work on this country. Works in Portugal. Um, but Portugal has help from, you know, from other countries. Right. Right. Um, they kind of they all, they they join hands and and they walk together. Together, yeah. Together, and and when when you have um, a alliance like Spain and 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 mm -hmm. and, and France, Italy, mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, probably it, the socialist works there because because of that. Right. Um, here, every, we're, America, everybody's against America, each other. Exactly, and America is—it's a country that is always helping somebody. Mm -hmm. They don't even—they don't have inside, but they're always outside helping other right. people. Right. Uh, when this country is, is like they help it, they help themselves first, mm -hmm. and then they help the outsiders. Right. You know, um, that's the, the the difference. If they pick Hillary, then. The problem's still there, <laughs> you know, because people call it a liar, liar people right. call it, you a know, a, a email uh, scandal, yeah. and, right. and, and this, and this, and right. this, and this. Right. But with all that said, from all the candidates, I think probably, and because, just because they're all so bad candidates, mm -hmm. that Ellery has a chance. Okay. With even all with all that you know with all that problem, I think Hillary still have a chance. If if she had somebody uh, uh, good running, mm -hmm. she will have no chance. Right, no chance. Right. But when she's ha she's, when she's having a chance Donald against, Trump, uh, she looks like gold. <laughs> when she has a chance against a, a, a socialist, <laughs> you know, she. She's going to have a chance right. uh, against. Doesn't matter who who the right. the the, uh, the Republican going to pick. You know, I think I think she's going to she's going to have a chance. Um, it's not. I, I'm pretty sure it's not everybody's favorite. No, neither. But out of out of the uh, out of the bunch, you know. Um, uh, I think I'd go to Hillary just so that we're not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. At least she's not saying out there, you know, right. that she's crazy. But I mean, what she did on the past was crazy. Oh, yeah. It's crazy stuff, you know. Yes. But yes. Um, uh, right now is I, I I don't know really I, I don't know how this is gonna and um, it's gonna be another another hour before we start getting the numbers. But uh, I will be very surprised, and I hope I, I'm hope I, I hope I'm right. Uh, that Donald <laughs> Trump's not going to get Florida. So we'll see. You know, know. so It'll make be a sure. Surprise. Huh? It'll be a surprise as well, Fall River was. Uh, oh, Fall River was a big surprise for me. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, anything else you want to say on Donald? Uh, oh, God, no. Just go away. Save, save Donald? No, God, no, save Donald. <laughs> Donald. Just, he needs to go away. I've been, I've been uh, seeing um, videos on YouTube. Crazy, it, oh yeah, crazy stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Crazy stuff. What he says, everything he said from day one, now is coming back, and and hit him. Mm -hmm. Now he's starting to hit him, because I'm pretty sure that the people that's running his campaign is telling him what to do and what to say. Right. But the the bad stuff it's already out. Of course. You know, so it's no way you, you you want to be the good guy. Right. You had to be from day one when you announce yeah. it. That's when you start mm -hmm. your good behavior. It's not when you're getting closer that you because now that they already have stuff to to, to throw at him. But um, I just hope that uh, that you know it's the country needs to uh, needs to keep moving. Um, of course. He, 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 he makes and sounds everything so easy that he's going to make this country do this and that country do that. If you go there polite and you're not getting from these countries, 
what's going to make you come in here and force me to do it? Right. You know. But the thing, like I've said in the past with Donald Trump, is that he's just stating that, like, like he keeps saying, he needs to make America good again. Okay, but how is he going to do that? Mm -hmm. He's not stating how he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. There's no plan with him, but he just knows it needs to get done, or yeah. it will be done if he's mayor. But there's no plan to it. So it's pretty much just air. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. filling air. That, that, that's all he's yeah. doing. He's, he's not filling it with substance, that's for sure. And, and uh, you know, and he went um, to Florida. With, I think what he should stay away from, which was uh, immigration, that's what he went and campaigned in Florida. Right. And, and, and that's what's going to cost him Florida. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, that's what's going to cost him because it's a lot of people, mm -hmm. in illegal Florida. people yeah. working in Florida. Right. And the people are hiring these people. It's, it's, they're not going to vote against themselves. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay? Yeah, of course not. But um, we will see how, how this is going to turn out. Um, one thing that I would like to, um, to talk to you um, to um, and get your imp uh, impression is about I've been hearing on, on the local radio um, uh, about treatment, drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And according to somebody that um, the problem, it's not a problem, it's a disease. So um, I have, I'm, I'm having a problem, a problem with that because guess what? People that smoke has a disease. I, I don't think so. They have mm -hmm. a problem, mm -hmm. okay? Because they, they mm -hmm. smoke because they want to smoke. Correct. Same okay? thing with drug abuse, and I'm sorry. That's that's and, how I and feel. And same thing with drug abuse. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, I don't think I don't think it's it, it's <laughs> a disease. They try and, and they're already starting because it's a lot of money out there right. now that they want to grab. Right. You know, I mean, $600 million on the table, it's a lot of money for of all these agencies now to go. Oh, mm -hmm. let's make it a, a fancy name. Mm -hmm. And what fancy name that we're going to create for this is a disease. Correct. Now it's a disease. So if that's a, if that's a disease, what are we going to call somebody with cancer? Right. A problem? Right. Cancer is a disease. It's something that you didn't know you have, and unfortunately, you stuck with it. Mm -hmm. Drug abuse to me is a choice. Yes. Just like drinking, just like smoking, just like eating disorder. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. It's all in your mind, and I'll, I'll probably get beat up for this, but that's my opinion. It, it, it's, it's not a disease. Um, Again, my opinion, um, but it's it's something that you you sat there one day and said, "I'll try it," mm -hmm. and obviously you liked it, and you thought you weren't going to get addicted to it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Lo and behold, you got addicted to it, mm -hmm. and now you can't get yourself out. Mm -hmm. Again, and it's all up to you. Absolutely, to get it out. Absolutely, it's not up to, to me. I, I I can spend. You know, all my fortune mm -hmm. to convince you to give up drugs. It won't work. It's uh, got to be within the person. You know, if you decide to give up, that's it. I don't have to spend the money. Right. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's within the person. It's it's within the person. Mm -hmm. I had when I met my wife. She was a smoker. Mm -hmm. She was a smoker. So then she quit. Right. She went slow and slow until one day she quit. Mm -hmm. And I was married just for one year. Right. That I turned around and I said, well, that's a good job. Of course it is. She, she quit because she wanted to quit. Right. At the time, it was people with, with uh, things on their arms, Patches. things on the, on the back, the uh, you know, pills and yeah. gums and, 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 and all that stuff. And she didn't talk anything. No. She, one day she said, that's it. That's my last one. And that's our last yeah. one. It's mind over matter. You've got to want it. Um, and most drug uh, abusers 
um, normally when they quit is when they're actually hit rock bottom, when their family no longer wants them, mm -hmm. when um, they've used every resource possible that they thought that they could, you know, um, steal from, um, or they've been in trouble way too many times. Mm -hmm. um, that's normally when they sit there and say, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. It's mind over matter. You've mm -hmm. got to want it as a person. Is that the way that they want to live? Mm -hmm. Most of them say, no, it's not. And 10 years after, we were just, you know, we used to do a lot of theater mm -hmm. um, on the Lusitania and the Soriana, which Norma, yeah. that's how, how we met Norma, mm -hmm. that just passed. Um, they starting smoking her on her, and she started picking up you on here, and of one course. day, be careful, be careful, and that's it. Right. A year went by, and that's how she it was starts. buying cig of cigarettes course, again. Of course, and that's okay? how it starts again. Right. But when she realized, and, and, and then she got pregnant for my, for my first daughter, mm -hmm. and she quit again. Of course. She decided to quit, and she quit again. Yeah. And it's been, it's, been another, uh, it's been another 20 years. That, oh, I forgot to, talking about her, she's calling. Um, so she, she just decided to quit again. Right. Okay? Right. So that's why I'm saying it's up to the person. Absolutely. The person can, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't know what, what's going to make the person or incentive the person mm -hmm. to do it, mm -hmm. but it has to be something that motivates the, the person of course. to quit. Of course. And uh, um, so it's, it's... And normally, like I said, it's, it's a loved one or a family that sits there and says, no, I want nothing to do with you, don't call me, don't, nothing, they get thrown out of a house, um, or, or even maybe the person's kids. You know what, mom or dad, I, I don't want anything to do with you, or don't talk to me, you know, whatever. Normally, that's what sets the person off as far as, you know what, I've, I've had this life and don't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know what, and I commend the people who actually you know, sat there and said, you know what, this isn't my life, this isn't the life I want. And, you know, they have gone the mm -hmm. opposite way. You can do it. There are people out there who mm -hmm. have done it and who are, have been sober for so many years. And I commend those people because, you know what, I've never been addicted to anything, thank God. But, but on, on, the, on the other side of the coin, I believe in treatment. I believe that we should spend money in treatment. Mm -hmm. But I believe that that money should be spent on and, and those people that decide Mm -hmm. that they want to quit. Who are really serious. Don't come knock on my door and say, you know, I'm going to spend money on you and you're going to quit. If I don't want to quit, you can spend as much money you want. Of I'm course. not going to quit. Of course. But money should be available for people that decide they do want to quit. Mm -hmm. Now we need to have money to, to, to do a program, mm -hmm. okay? But just on those cases, don't, mm -hmm. don't go knock on the door and people and just sign them up for programs right. just because we have money to spend. Right. And that's usually what the what, uh, state does is mm -hmm. they make that money available, now everybody is going to waste Let's it. spend. Right. So right. We, we ending wasting the money mm -hmm. when, when that money could be put in for a good use f for the entire community mm -hmm. instead of just selected people that don't want treatment. Right. Right. Yeah, you got to be serious about it. Um, majority of people are not. They, they just look at it as a, a place to go. Um, people who are serious about it, I mean, they change their whole life. I mean, because you, you just can't go back to, you just can't sit there and say, okay, no, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm done with drugs, and go back to living to the way that you were. Because guess what? You've made those drug connections around you. You're gonna drive down the street and you know it's gonna trigger your mind of whatever or you're gonna see that buddy or whatever and you know what it's a matter of staying strong the rest of your life because mm -hmm. those demons are always gonna be around so yeah you, you really got to be serious about it gotta want it but yeah it takes that person a long time and like I said they normally have to hit rock bottom in order to get serious about it mm. and and uh, and it's it's tough. I, I understand that's a tough situation. Mm -hmm. um, the families suffer. Oh, big time! You know, the oh, families suffer. Big time. Um, and the perfect example I'm going to give you is the uh, um, the stabbings that happened. Um, oh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday mm. um, on our neighborhood, 
Mm -hmm. The person that the, the parents, the family of those kids, not the ones going to suffer, okay? Because, but again, and it's strange that happened at Talbot, because you know, and you've been involved over the neighborhood for a long time. You know that we, every event that we have that involve kids, we always invite the Talbot School mm -hmm. to participate. Mm -hmm. And they never participate in anything. Right. They have, um, they have the system that's, it's eight o'clock, lock the doors, and the kids are inside. Right. Okay. But I'm, my opinion is I need to reach out to those kids the same way they are respectful inside of a school. They need to be responsible, they need to be respectable to the people when they leave that school. Of course. Okay? Of course. And I have used this to talk to other, other teachers and, and explain to them. We need to tell the kids, when you leave that door, you come to my school, mm -hmm. the streets. Right. Okay? So in my school, we have a behavior okay, that we need, we need to follow. And I think that particular school is so close to themselves. Um, the principal of that school works different from the other schools. We, we have projects, uh, we bring kids to the bio reserve. We bring, we bring kids to the parks. We do, we, they come and they, they participate on our Christmas show yep. um, in December from Watson, from Fonseca, you know. But that school, they don't participate in anything. Right. Okay? So I think the kids are losing that, that side of community right. and, and involvement, and, involvement mm -hmm. and respect. Right. Okay? Because in, the kids behave in one way when they're inside the school. Correct. But when they leave the school, they behave different. Right. Because they are not told how to behave. Right. And a lot of these kids don't have the parents to, to teach them. Right. So that's why it's important for us to get inside the school and bring, and bring the message inside the school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at that school was never um, open to, to neighborhoods. You know, I mean, I'm not afraid to say because everybody on the board knows right. I, I, when I contact yep, schools, uh, when I contact schools and what they, they answer back of if they, they, they cannot do it this time, they will do it next time and eventually right. they, do, they do it and everything. Talbot School never right. even responds to the invitations that we do. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it's something in there that really, uh, I don't know if it comes from the high, from, from the school department, right. could be from the school department, mm. and having a, a, a principal that, that's old school, right. okay, compared to, to this other schools, because what's in school, she came from, from Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. And, and, and she's doing a good job, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it's tough, it's a tough uh, school because the kid's there, but it's, it has nothing to do with the principal. Right. Uh, 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 the other school, the Fonseca school, it's a, it's a new guy Same that thing. it's in charge. It's a new person in charge. And, and I think that the, the community, somehow the community, they have the connection with the community, mm -hmm. with, with the garden, and, and everything, so they are open to the community. They open the doors of the community versus uh, Talbot Middle School. But yep. hey. Let's hope all goes well for the individual and yep. uh, our thoughts and prayers to that, to him and the family. Yep. Very good. It's, uh, it's one more show done, and see you next week. Thank you.